Welcome back, artistic family, to Shannon Gibson Art Design. Glad you guys are here as always. So, you guys know for the last few weeks I've been really experimenting with a couple different products silicone, um, uh, Floetrol, uh, although I've been out, but I've been exploring with that as well, fairly new to my arsenal, and trying several different techniques. Now, I did a gorgeous swipe a few months ago and it's right here it's absolutely stunning it is not varnished and I don't plan on burnishing it um, I've only varnished two or three pores ever and mainly for the video and for the experience but my pores dry very glossy extremely shimmery and um, I don't feel the need to unless requested or something for a commission piece or whatever um, but I really love the classic black and white and I really wanted to do that again especially on these gorgeous narrow canvases 8x20 so if you guys remember when I did that pour I added glue wall and Liquitex and probably some few different other things and I couldn't remember so I've got another little mixture here and I've added in some glue wall some Liquitex pouring medium, Artist Loft Acrylic Flow White, and some water. It is very creamy. It does have a mound. It's a little bit thick. I plan on pouring it on the canvas, guys, and then tilting it off. I added the glue wall because oftentimes glue wall does help with the stretching factor because the elasticity. And I'm using my really fun new swiping tools. I mean, I've used them a couple times, so I guess they're not so new anymore, but um, they're new to me because I've been using my palette knives by Artist Loft as well as my magnets most often when I do swipes. But because of my last pour, I had done um, the swipe with the, well, not the last pour, but recent pour, I did like a Kathleen Osborne swipe. And if you guys know her, I'm sure you do, she loves her paper towel. I prefer to swipe this way, but because I'm exploring, I wanted to try it uh, with the paper towel, and now I'm going back to what I'm most comfortable with and what I like best. So I'm going to try these flexible plastics uh, tools for swiping. I've got two different sizes, and again, I'm not trying to mimic um, or duplicate that pour. I just wanted to use the same colors, do a swipe, and if it turns out the same or even more beautiful, I'll be super happy. So the colors that I'm using today guys is your classic gold. Again all details for all of my pores are always listed in the detail description as, long, as well as the consistency. I'm using Artist Loft Flow Black and then again my little mixture. So let's go ahead guys and get going. Just gonna run this right up here just like so. And again same as the last video, guys. I'm not tilting completely off the canvas. I just want enough so that I have wiggle room. Okay. Let me give this a torch. Get out some of these air bubbles. So, guys, um, definitely let me know. If there's anything you guys are interested in me trying. I think my first swipe is going to be with the large. And I'm just going to take a spoon here, guys, because it makes it a lot easier. And I'm going to swipe with black. And I'm going to add a little bit of gold. And then I might do a swipe with the gold as well. So I'm just randomly adding the gold in different spots okay again when I do swipes I like to just change it up and I don't really have a whole rhyme or reason for it and this is my swiping mix I do have silicone if I did not mention that in all of the paints that I'm using here except for the base and then now I'm just gonna oh, I was gonna use my spoon didn't I so now I'm just going to scoop some of this on here.
Absolutely, it's stunner. My biggest thing is stretching it. So let's hope this blue wall does its job. Oh, that's beautiful. I'm loving that. I'm loving that. It's too beautiful to lose anything, guys. Way too beautiful. Okay. I just want this to come down a little bit more. Just doing this sideways so that you guys can see. Look at all that lacing starting. Unbelievable. That's gorgeous, guys. Oh. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. Really slightly. I don't want to ruin what's going on up there, but I just want this to come over a bit more. Around, just stretch this back down. Oh, guys, the way that that gold right now is just shimmering and laying. It's as if I have satin enamels on the bottom. The blue wall works beautifully. Absolutely beautifully. It is going to be a new staple for me. A bit more black over here. I do want to add in some black in a few areas here. So we'll get sucked up a little bit. But I just want a little bit more black. Just to accentuate. Gold over there, and I got it. All right, let's just stretch that just a tiny bit, guys. Over. Well, guys, there's so many pretty parts. Because of my lighting, you can't see all the shimmer, but over here, you can see how shiny that gold is. It's the same here, it's just the lighting. Absolutely gorgeous. Love that kind of almost wave there. That's pretty cool. Love these cells. Love the dark black here and then fade out into like the white. Look at the boatload of cells. Oh my. I think I got even more cells in this one than I did in the other one, of course, because I'm using the silicone. Um, but I've got ever so lightly some lacing here with the gold. Absolutely stunning. I love this piece. I love swipes. And uh, the movement in this is gorgeous. So anyways, guys, if you enjoyed the video... I really appreciate a thumbs up. Again, I always say this, it helps the channel um, and it is free. And if you're here all the time and you're not a subscriber, definitely click that subscribe button. And uh, until next time, guys, I'll see you in the next four.